Hello and welcome to the video where we're going to select this image and we're going to use our special packs. We're going to use the wing pack and also cloud pack and some texturing. Those packs to um, create image. So what we're going to do is extend the canvas and we're going to create this image. So like right here, we can see we will extend canvas. We'll go over this. And we're going over how to take and implement the clouds, wings, and the other elements, include the additional textures to our image. So it's kind of uh, overall give you example how you can use it, how you can take this element and create your artwork in whatever you like. So let's go ahead and start working on that. We're beginning by working on our image inside the camera raw. So we go ahead, open, and it's a latest camera 13.1, or I think it's come with Photoshop 2021, if I'm right. Uh, before we continue, I want just showing you, if you click right on the bottom, you can open camera raw preferences, and I'm should, and I'm working in Adobe RGB. You can work in this RGB or Profoto or whatever you like it. This is just color space for me that I work in a camera and other areas. So it's the reason why I'm trying to keep it a same color space for me. And I'm working with 16 bits. So usually most time you will probably work with 8 bit. And it is if you're posting on like social media or try to share, uh, you probably will convert down to 8 bit. It will be um, JPEG file or other ones. We will take down, but us work preferably it's 16 bit it's given us smaller gradients and more detail so we always can go down in a quality but it's very hard going from down up so right here it's just the settings now when we open in camera round on our right side we're going inside the our jam preferences and then highlights we'll just take them down we don't need to take all away just all enough so we don't have it overshoot highlights so we know we have it, all these elements it did and uh also just leave it maybe shadow bring up just slightly it is flatten as image our image i want to avoid some of those highlights like for example right here where is a crown maybe was or some other ones usually it's a happen when you have it glass or metallic you have those elements but i want to keep it in so it's the reason why we do flatten some on our skin and to kind of bring back in, we need to go inside the color mixer, go select luminosity, and then luminosity will just need to bring orange, yellow, and a little bit red up. And notice what's happened when I go with orange. You see how it's changing? That is help us to restore a little bit of this depth and shape on our model. Luminosity does not affect color. It's work with the contrast with the black and white, with the just the, of those values. So we'll just adding a bit more light in those areas. So next, we'll just go to intake sharpen a little bit up to restore some compensate for anti aliasing that's happening in our camera. Um, and also I'll go click remove camera abbreviation and we'll can click and enable the uh, used profile. So that is will help a little bit distortion remove from our lens and other stuff. So right here, I look on the background and let's analyze for the second what we have on our image. And you'll notice on our image, we have the model on a kind of grayish background. And I set up this for reason. So when we start working with overlays in other modes, it's much easier to match when it's gray color. So we don't have any color contamination or luminosity contaminations. Okay, so let's go ahead and click open. And this is in will open inside the Photoshop 2021 or a CC version, whatever new ones updated it's automatically. The look also on an image, what's happening, I can tell ahead that won't be big enough for our image. So we want to extend our canvas before we do this right here, small black teeny tiny corner probably come from um, our softbox. So I'm going select drag and drop there you go now we illuminated that and next step let's go expand our canvas because if we put wings we probably want a little bit expanded so we have all of them for this we'll take our tool and it's cropping tool and i want to be sure content aware is enabled so let's move a little bit 
what's happening if we just readjust just a little bit? Let's look what's happening here. So we'll go click OK, press Enter, and Photoshop will analyze what is running and it actually does many times very good job. For example, you see right here the box, how the line is going. What's happening? We will see how it's kind of almost continue this way. See how it's expanding? So then we do have some duplications right there. You can see some parent, but that is okay because we're going to um, work on them. We'll go to overlay. So right here, I'm just expanding a little bit more. Let's click OK. And again, um, you can try expand all the way. What I found when I do these two big sizes, it is sometimes may grab some elements that I don't want it and uh, expand too much. So I am I prefer to do, and I'm just going like right there, probably we should put it some wings inside, but I want to create a little bit bigger. So we have way more space to work. Okay, let's go ahead, like right there. Maybe just bring a little bit down on a level of the eyes. I think it's around here. Let's go click OK. This also enable the delete, so we'll lose this button, but it's okay because we have it too much already. But I don't want to keep it closer to the sword. Just where we have it position the eyes. We maybe even expand to bring this a little bit closer. We'll see. So her eye will be kind of on a center. You can see how now it starts going in the dark. And actually does very nice. We can see repetition, but overall it's very good before. Uh, the smart kind of align content where I usually take clone tool and will done this way. If again, if you wanted to remove competition, remember you can always take this uh, tool, the patch tool, and you can select like areas, come and move it. And you can see <laughs> we can easy to um, fix those some areas. Same like right here, you have a little bit alignment, we can just bring in like right there maybe and fix some of these elements very easy uh, we want actually in some case blending almost because what I was thinking when we start putting some rocks and other things we do want kind of blend so we can do it this way oops see we have a hand we don't want that okay we'll move right there and let's go just right here grab it Wait. And just a little bit the adjustment and you can see how I say don't worry too much about this because we're going to overlay but I think this has given us about the right amount for um, the wings so let's go ahead and see what wings we're actually going to use here and for this one we'll go in our wing pack if you have it and let's go just to open preview and you can see we have multiple different wings that we can use it i probably will prefer use white and maybe this kind of angle so you can preview because let's look on her position you see her shoulder is going a little bit kind of sideways not total front so it's maybe this one will work very well of course we can switch try other ones and if they're going inside like this you always can rotate horizontally you know you can we can adjust a lot of stuff so we don't know if i want to go down or side so we can try both of those um see which one maybe work better in our case so let's get let's go drag and drop the side ones let's go like this and we can actually maybe it's too big let's see probably about this size so this is will be when the wings go up and down okay and let's go to bring our side wings so we have it like these wings and this one we can actually just increase and sometimes we want to have this massive wings almost look like you know so then we have it that wings so we have it open wings oops actually i don't need select let's go select different tool move tool so we can have like these wings just slightly match your position of the body of the shoulder around right there i think they will go okay and or we can go with these wings same we just 
use those wings. Oops, right here, this one. We need to select right layer, and we can trust. Try like maybe around here. So I'm not sure, but I think this is, does not give this dramatic look. It's better if it's like overlay because see how the angle. So I think these ones will probably work very good on this case. We, of course, we can go and maybe select um, kind of like up right wings if you want it. For example, just go like, you know, go up wings kind of like this almost maybe a little bit even bigger but problem with this we need to go higher to create and this ups, upset so i don't think we'll go with this so let's go with this side wings kind of expanded and also we can see the lights go right there wings going back uh, lights maybe not all the way match which is okay we have our tool dodge and burn what is important on this wings you can see it's have highlights on the side this is what we need it. This is work very well. And we'll just add highlights and shadows very easy to these wings as we're going to work with them. And just uh, to play around a little bit more, remember you have it in the set, we have way more wings. Okay, we also have this kind of big wings, we can add in other ones. Okay, but because we are just this way, I don't think we need this space on the top. So let's go ahead and just a little bit minimize so bring like this maybe yeah i think this will work a little bit better okay so right here we have our wings and before we'll actually put wings in uh, let's work a little bit retouching on our model so first things what i want to do it is um duplicate the layer and we'll do two ways one, I want you to show how we can do easy and fastest way. But for that, we actually needed like Retouch for Me um, tool. And what does Retouch for Me plug in? That it's going over image very fast and very smart. It's utilize AI to analyze the skin, another area, and removing some of those imperfections. And actually, it's worked very, very good um, for doing the job very important when you have like a lot of photos to retouch so what's happened sometimes i have a lot of photo retouch so i got, can go through this after made it so retouch for me will come very fast and what's happening okay you can see like on a face it will you see right here original and remove look how it's, it does actually a very good job to do this stuff so what I want to do, it's just create mask. We'll go ahead and click apply. Okay, and right now, if you look, we have this mask. You see how it's fixed. We can ignore some of those elements, some maybe a little bit on the line, but I'll just leave them around. And it is clean up very fast, very efficient. You can do by yourself this also by creating new layer and going to select the healing brush and with healing brush, what we're going to do, it is sample area, the round, and just fix it like this. Be sure when you do this, you have it current and below sample layer is enabled. Okay, and we'll just go around and we'll just clean up like this. Okay, you hold on, down Alt or Option key, sample, and like area around there and do it. So you can see again, this is same things we can do by hands, or if we have a retouch for me, it's actually do quite a bit faster. Okay, so let's go ahead. I just want to show you how we can do, but again, for the speed, we'll just touch uh, use retouch for me. So the next thing, because um, I want to create painting, we want to smooth the skin. The best way to do this is press Control Shift Alt E, Command Option Alt E on a Mac, and we're going to create um, the uh, new layer, and this is will be smoothing. Okay, on a smoothing layer, we're going to filter noise, 
and go click dust and scratches. So how much do we want to do? Usually I just take a radius down so I can see nice kind of like painting or details almost, but I don't need to see some of those elements. So I think this is very clear. I recognize eyes, iris, everything. So let's go ahead, click OK, and we'll hold down Alt or Option key while this selected and click on a mask. Now we create a black mask which hide everything we've done. But it, it's what we wanted because we want to put this effect in specific intensity in specific areas. So I want to go have a 10% opacity using white brush. And one want to be sure it's soft round brush. Okay, and we'll just go ahead and start painting slightly inside. We don't need paint too too much and depend what you how you're going, but if you analyze how the old painting was done, what's what did it, uh, depend on techniques, but in many cases they just want to give a texture of the skin and you have the bristle brush and you just put a little bit of the darker color and going on um, canvas and kind of press down. So it's creating those teeny tiny dots which represent pores in the skin and you can do this way. So it is, um, if you really want to simulate, I will recommend just take painting. It is at least help you to see some of those techniques and help you understand. But what's happening in the photography, we have a very good and high resolution cameras that is produced too good, very good textures and everything. So now we to simulate painting, we actually need it kind of reduce some of these detailizations to make this painting look some little bit in perfection. But again, I'm just smoothing some of those details. And by the way, this is a uh, type techniques work very well. If you have it like black, um, dark area where we ha where we have it very high noise, you can do these techniques to reduce this noise out. Okay, so let's go ahead, zoom out right here on the leg. Definitely we want to move these. Limit the leg. Let's go down. Okay, just smooth a little bit. And it's more smooth for the hands. The one only problem when we are doing this smoothing, if you can notice, we're losing highlights and shadows because the smoothing does a little bit rough. I mean, it's to blending them. So what do we want to do? We want after using dodge and burn, we'll go back and with dodge and burn technique, we want to actually restore and add additional depth. And depth or shape of our objects is based on luminosity layer. So it's meaning when we're going to add shadows, we'll create far away and light closer. So we can work with those. So let's do this. We'll go create new layer. This will be our dodge and burn layer. And we'll go to fill up this layer with 50% gray, normal opacity 100. And we'll switch to the soft light. Soft light, it's a contrast based mode, uh, blending mode, which is 50% is invisible. And as long as we start going from 50% to the darker, it will accelerate and make it darker. But you can see how it's nicely, it's not overwhelmed. And it's also pass through colors for us. So it's not just to make black and white. And if we're going with a white color, we're adding a little bit better highlights. Like right here, you can see we add a little bit highlights. And I'm using my bracket key on a keyboard to create bigger or smaller brush because this way it's helping me to add a little bit better on this bracket. So let me just add right here, a little bit shadowing. And you, as an artist, you kind of start almost, you know, painting with the lights right now. So we're adding additional shadows on the side, on the side of the head, a little bit in the hair. Okay. We can also add a little bit more on the clothes and right here, like on our hands. Okay, let's go. Switch X key will help us to switch our 
foreground and background and we have it a ring right here i don't know if you want to keep it ring but you know what we can remove it and i'll show you how we can remove very very easy but we'll do this in after we'll touch it retouching just as example what's happening if you're done to do stuff and you find something that you want to remove it so you can remove at any time okay so we go right here And you know what? I actually photo shoot. I shot this model and in the settings when we set up, but problem is for some reason I did miss the ring, you know, and sometimes you go back and like, why I cannot see that element? Because after overall, even my assistance, we kind of miss that, but it's okay. It's why we have Photoshop, you know, to remove all of this and notice what i'm doing i'm doing one slightly highlights and we'll just do like highlights right there so we'll add see how it's creating creating those looks okay let's look what we have right now so before see how flat it is and now we add a little bit more depth to this a little bit shaping and it's again based to luminosity okay let's go say how we can go rework on this ring to do this, we'll use a multiple tool. So for, let's go create new layer and let's go call ring. So we know what it is. Okay. And now we'll go select tool. We'll go select healing brush tool. And somewhere in the middle, it's very easy because all what we're going to do, current below, select, we'll click right here in the middle. And we're going and we'll start like this to remove sometimes we need to select a little bit more far away and that is kind of easy till you come closer to the end so when you're getting closer to this end it's become problem like right here so instead we'll click on the middle between fingers move you can see even preview and we'll just go like right here okay so we'll just go click and adjust there you go okay so let's go it's take a little bit patient because we are here with a big ring and same like right here with the finger just click right there just bring a little bit up okay again we can click right there and we can just bring a little bit this way as long as you're going kind of with the edge you're okay we can go don't worry about too much um because we're going this is will be very much blending mode whoops right here let's go fix right there a little bit we'll fix right here we'll go with the blending mode very well okay let's go select around and we'll just go like right there a little bit okay so overall you can see it it just will take a little bit time but we can very carefully can kind of adjust removing okay and for some reason my things was jumping yeah and one thing what i want to do i don't want to use the align so notice it's uh, not aligned so it's meaning every time when i do it start from that area and this is helping me to create okay like right there okay, let's go look out we do have a little bit lighting issue so we'll go just create right here just to remove a little bit of that lighting and i know we maybe spend a little bit too much on this but you know okay let's go select one more time and add right there okay and there we remove our ring uh, right here just a little bit shadow off so let's go ahead select and a little bit clean up okay and now we have it before and after so we just remove the ring okay so far we retouch we created um remove rings we add elements so let's work on a hair control shift alt e command option alt e 
and we'll just call its hair. Okay. And for the hair, we just go filter, stylize, oil in painting, and in all painting, we want saturation 10, cleanliness 10, scale maybe 0 0.1. We'll just take even lower on a scale and 0, 0.1, 0, 1. Okay, let's go ahead, click OK. Uh, one thing sometimes I notice it does not give me all of this depth. So to increase this, I want going to sharpen on sharp mask. And on a hair, I'll just pop up a little bit higher. Click OK. And for now, when you want to hide this layer, remember Alt or Option and click on a mask and it's hiding. So now we can again take our brush 10%. Let's go to the hair. And you know, we can paint in. And why do we do this? Um, if you look very close on the hair, you'll notice it is not just a straight line on the hair. It's have it some pixelization, like right here in this area, you can see very good. And it's what make look hair messy because we don't have this straight line follow hair. It's look like cross cutting. So by doing with the painting, you can see we remove some of those lines and we're creating straight lines. This is give it our perception of the cleaner hair. And also because those brush strokes, like what you have with the um, normal brush, you take a softer brush for the hair and you go over. And this is also simulation for that. So we are cleaning and we're creating those brush stroke. Uh, one thing I want to point to you right here, look where the school connecting to the hair coming from the school. Um, if you have a person wearing the wig, you can take and go like a very close to the edge and it actually will look like it's not a wig at all. So it's very nice if you do like cosplay for the shoot or other stuff when people wear uh, wigs and you want to make uh, some of this edge removing. So you can do that way by uh, same way by creating uh, this element kind of with this brush and it will create almost like it's a hair from there. So it's very nice. Uh, way to blend. Okay, so we're we'll right here. Let's go with the ends a little bit. Okay, and we'll zoom out. Sometimes what I like to do is just take if a person, if it was a guy, have a beard, I may do on a beard. I'll do maybe a couple stroke on eyebrows just to keep it uniform. And fur, you can do same things on the fur or animals like dogs and other ones, and it will look perfect if you want it. I'm not sure if I like this hair, but I don't worry too much. When we put it sky overlay, this is what we got. So it's all will be kind of smooth out. Okay, I think we almost ready. So here's our model and let's go just select control D to group it. Let's go call it model. Okay, and on a model we'll have it before and after. So just a little bit clean up, prepare so it's look more as a painting. Okay, let's go next. We have our wings. Okay. Before we actually blend wings, I want to actually blend sky first or clouds. And it's for the reason so we can kind of overlay under and wings going above and we can have this blending coming from them. So for the sky, um, I'm going to use my sky overlay pack. And overall, if you are uh, purchase or whatever have you have it all these different skies and when I did these clouds I specifically make contrast and shape of them when I photo shoot and select from my shoot be sure they're matching um, kind of easy to invent so for example we'll go use this for the more dramatic look and I'm going to take the sky and drag and drop and this is a TF format it's very high resolution Actually, it's so high when you get pack. I think pack has come like with five gigabytes, so it's quite a bit large size. But we are going to select here. Let's extend, click OK. And one thing what I want to do, I want preview. So if you see the light is coming from this point and our clouds probably about right. If it's not, sometimes what you want to do, you want to take clouds and you can always kind of rotate, readjust them. You know, just to make sure they fit properly. Like right here, where's the lighting come from or other elements. So I think that one, maybe it's even work better. 
so we can create and don't just create a square okay create position things remember this all will be blended and speak about blending now it's good time to hold down alt key and click on a mask so it's all hide it in same we'll take our brush 10 percent on the white and let's increasing and we can start blending in you remember it was dark we don't really care about this and one thing sometimes happening at this you maybe don't want 100 percent blend in so it's okay go click on a paint bring maybe about gb let's go see what we luminosity you know let's go 50 percent luminosity right here we'll just tap in and it's a 50 percent gray remember it will be and in this case we'll just go 50 percent or if you can hold it 10 per 100 percent so this is our maximum and sometimes it's nice to do just a masking around because you can see we still have a texture let's go closer to the model and we'll just take a smaller brush and brushing and the reason why um, i'm doing this way so if i go again i won't have those strokes it will be perfect match okay and we're going like closer and nice things about if we go a little bit over her clothes like right here you can see now it's we have a light spill so it's matching we don't need to worry about a lot of stuff here okay so let's go ahead same with arm if we go right there and it will go just like this we have a perfect perfect light spill going over her skin and because we're 100 percent we know this is cover very good okay let's go right here and inside your arm between so we'll go go high right there many times when i do compositing depend on what i want to do like when i did sci-fi or other ones i use a pen to isolate model however in this case it's different and we're using sky and because the, with using sky it is much easy just to blend with a brush and besides it give you feeling like you're painting in notice this hair what i say it's kind of will blend in so we don't really need worried about that however right here between the fingers we'll go just like this and remember what i says because we are doing 100 percent we know it is all going so we are painting with 50 percent gray but we're painting with 100 percent opacity on our brush so it's kind of we don't need to worry about double or a soft and in some cases i do use uh 10 percent and i do multiple and we'll you'll see when we start coming to the other edge we'll switch to that so we'll have it better blending the keep one thing if you notice we have a grain and that is grain coming from the sky keep this in mind because we'll come back i'll show you one thing about grain and about some other layers we're going to use okay so right here i think we're kind of good let's look around now we can have a bigger brush and i can just go and brushing in like around here okay And nice thing because it's a soft brush, we have it with very soft edges, which is good because it is give it us a very nice edge. See right there? Perfect. Very nice blend in. Okay, don't worry if it's you think it's too dark because we're going to fix this. Now let's look on a mask and you can see we have 50% gray. So I can actually go around now with the mask on with our color and I can just paint, remove some of those clean up if I want it. You don't need it, 
but again if you want it, you can go and clean up and you can see where's the light spill kind of happening so it's kind of good in this okay let's go enable and here we have our cloud mask into the our model then next we want to take our wings oops i move the wrong one undo i want to select my mask my wings so right here we have our wings uh, maybe you know what let's just extend them a little bit bigger there you go okay so like right there kind of okay let's do our opacity drop down around here i just want opacity to help me i want to be sure this is connect probably like around there shoulders going yeah i think it's around there when it's coming okay so when we're done click enter so it will have our position everything we'll go 100 percent and we'll do same alter option and click on a mask hiding our wings so now our wings we want to actually switch to white color and let's go set 100 percent and we'll want just to paint them in for now Okay, notice what I, I just paint them kind of in like this. So I want them visible. Now we come closer to the model. So let's go ahead and switch this to the about 10%. Now we start painting them over. And if you get a little bit over edge, like right here, don't worry that this shadow that is darker because what we want we want this shadow and we have a double benefits because our sky have a right color of atmosphere we wanted and because it darkened around it gives us very accurate look okay so let's go right here just a painting a little bit back okay let's go on the top i think right here we have yeah we have right there the wings okay let's go 20 percent so we'll be just a little bit faster faster painting because okay, so don't worry if that look darker it's very good we want a little bit that darkness we want that shadow there okay right a little bit brighter edge very good okay let's go right here and just touch up a little bit there you go and we'll just go increase size and we we'll be sure there you go okay let's go zoom out add a little bit to our zoom a little bit more out increase and we'll just want to clean up a little bit this area okay you can see a little bit not much because we need to add shadowing to these two wings and we'll go to do this in a second because the lights coming from this area and in some cases wing okay because it will create darker it's kind of cover lights going from this but we want add more highlights on this area highlights here make darker wing on this for that we needed dodge and burn techniques so let's go ahead and actually before dodge and burn i want to inverse to black 10 percent and i want to add a little bit right here on the edges so you see where's the feather going and they need to be somewhat transparent semi to our environment and if we do this way that make these edges look a little bit transparent so they're passing color through so that's what i want to do okay now let's go ahead we'll create new layer we'll call it dodge and burn again we'll go to fill with 50 percent gray normal 100 percent opacity and we want this layer if you hold down alt key and move over you can see this arrow up here so we want to clip this layer to our mask so it's will effect you can see only below so let's go same as before we'll switch to the soft light and now we can have it bright white or black brush to add some of those highlights or shadows so for example if i go over here i can add highlights to our wings and i don't worry about model because it's clipped just to our wings 
So right here. And if I switch to the black, I can add shadowing to some of this element, like right here with a hand. Okay, maybe like right now. Let's go highlight a little bit more. Imagine if lights go like this, so we want just go a little bit of highlights here. Okay, let's go down there. X darker. And I want a little bit expand shadowing by the fingers. Add shadowing around here. Okay, just a little bit. There you go. So kind of like adding a little bit to this. Um, overall, we have the warm and the wings, if I can see the little bit bluish. So let's go create um, color balance. And we'll just, again, this color balance, we can click and clip it. You can click just an icon here or again, and other things. We'll go with, uh, let's start mid-tones. You can see we can add just switch barely, barely to the yellow and same in the shadows warmer tone so we'll just move away from some colder and highlights of course the, woo, look how highlights going we want a little bit them move away from colder a little bit to the warmer so it you can see it's a little bit better matching i think in our colors okay i still think this wink a little bit too bright so let's go back actually to the transparency layer we'll take black color and we'll just add like this, just make a little bit blending. There you go, a little bit better, I think, blending with the background. Same like right there, maybe. Just make it a little bit better blending edges. There you go. I think that way it's blend kind of nicer. Okay. So right now we create our model. So let's go ahead next and add texture to the ground. So we have a different texture we can apply it, but idea is very same what we did before. We'll take texture and we'll put it over and up creating. So I have a multiple texture and I don't know if that pack will be ready or not, but it is different textures Then you can just select, drag it, Expand, you know, kind of like this, maybe. Let's go bring it down right there. Run like this. So we can create the texture. Let's go put it under clouds, run here. And as I did, you can notice right here, we unclipping happen. So I want to clip back in. Sometimes it does happen. Watch for this carefully. Easy way if you just group them. So in this case, when we're creating over or something, it just does not, not unclip them if we don't need it. Okay, so we have it overlay and we want to try or multiply mode or in many cases, actually soft light will work very well. But because it's created soft light, we want to also alter option and hide this layer. Next, we'll take brush white. Let's go with 20% and we can start painting in. And you can notice as we're painting in, it's add this additional texture overlay. And you can play with different textures that you have and see which one you like it. But it does help us kind of blend stuff. And you can always add clouds maybe after or other things. And maybe I should create brush cloud brush. I probably will do and just add to the pack so when you get it, it will be easy for you to add clouds. But overall what we've done, we're creating this almost see how it's look. It's look like she's sitting on a rocks. Because it's a nice overlay here. Okay, and that is what we're doing. We're doing adding this rock effect. 
There you go. It almost looks like she's sitting right here is actually good. You know, the her sword a little bit overlay. So let's go ahead, X, and just remove a little bit from the rocks. I don't want to remove all away because it's actually give it almost like reflection there, which is very good. It's what we wanted. We want that reflection. So, but you can see it's nice, beautiful, almost like it's stick in a rock going that way. Um, right here, if you notice, we have a little bit um, kind of mist. So we can add a little bit more to this. It's by creating a new layer above everything. And we'll just have it normal brush, okay? Soft the brush. Um, if you have an additional brush, it's very nice. You can use them. Uh, or you can use it some dry brushes or a different effect. I mean, whatever it's come. But for now, we'll just use it soft brush. And we'll go inside the brush tools whoop, right here. And we're going to scatter dynamics. We'll change size. So it's like make random size for us. Okay. Well, don't really care, but we can increase angle because we don't necessarily will we'll see in a second we'll make it's not very round okay and roughness increase okay let's go now scattering we'll increase scatter slightly just increase right there and you know what Bra shape you may back how I say we can also just take and like this creating just slightly not too much but little bit now rotation and I think this is about right. So let's go ahead, increase size of our brush. I'll just type cloud and 100% and we can try and you can see, ooh, look how it's happening. So that is good. It's what we wanted. Let's go right now. We'll hold down alt key and select maybe coloring around here. So next I'm going just a very fast brush and notice what I will do. I'll select color and I brush with this color a little bit. Okay. Let's go actually make smaller size. Don't worry about too much it's coloring because we are right now kind of coloring this edge and it's okay because we will change our blend mode in a second. Okay. I just want to be sure we'll just cover Kind of with the, all the sampling colors. Okay, right here. Okay, let's go to brighter colors a little bit. Matching. Okay, a bit darker. Okay, I think it's kind of about right. Okay, next we what we want to do it is going to filter blur and we will go motion blur and the motion blur we want to add a little bit and you can see how it start we can create this mix with the colors let's go click ok and switch this mode to soft light okay as we switch to soft light you can see how it is applying so if you want we can always go try to screen mode which is also will have a color applying, but with the screen, it's a little bit too bright. So we want maybe just play a little bit around with the coloring mode. But again, overall overlay, soft light, and other ones may work. And if you think it's a little bit darker in some areas, we can rework, but it is add a little bit of those effects. So I'm just looking, let's go look on a normal play with all the different you know, maybe just even normal mode look a little bit okay. Kind of like right there. I'm not sure which mode I like it best because they all have their own pluses. You know, lighting mode. Yeah, just maybe just leave it on the lighting mode. Just add kind of effect of the. Okay, so let's go ahead. We'll reselect our soft brush, so kind of like reset a little bit. Um, if you have a different clouds, different brushes, it's helpful. Uh, you always can also add um, 
by using additional clouds that we used before. So for example, if we go in, in sky and overlay, and you'll notice we also have it like this skies. Okay, let's go ahead, just increase size for this, this example. Okay, about there, that will work. And interesting things, because it is a blue, we can also just double click anywhere on the layer, it will open layer properties. And we can take this layer and we can cut off and you can see what we can do. We are cutting off and if you hold down Alt key and click, you creating the smoothness between them. So we applied, we removed this background when we have just a cloud. Again, we'll switch the mode. You can switch to the soft light, overlay or lighting, depend which one, screen light. For example, let's go to um, for example, lighting. Yeah, let's go with lighting. Um, I don't, for example, like how it's going because we have a bluish tin. We can go destructive way. We can just convert to black and white or we can just select black and white. And again, right here, we can clip it. So just clip it to our cloud. And now we have our cloud here that we can select and we can move around and place it wherever we want it. Okay, so we can place like around here. Just slightly. Okay. And let's go take down like right there, maybe. Okay. Or let's go with uh, maybe overlay. See how this one, you remember we have a screen, we have an overlay. So those ones modes will work also very well. Overlay give it a very good coloring for us as well. So like, for example, there you go. Now we have it more clouds going. I'm not sure which one I like it. You know, it is still playing with the maybe around this color. What I want to do, and it's important for us, I want to overlay and I want going over her clothes. This is will help us to bring together. Okay, we can also just go and control T scale, and we can just scale this one up. We can bring this around. Maybe right here. Okay. Uh, let's go, you know what, let's go to convert this to the group, putting in a group. Okay, we'll take black and white, move it around group. I'll show you in a second why we're doing this way. Again, we'll clip to the group now. And inside this group, we have our layer, one cloud. We'll control command J to duplicate. So now we have a two of these clouds. And I lost some of this end, but I don't want it. So I can create second layer and I can move somewhere maybe around here. Let's go back smaller, command control T, scale down. Actually, you know what? Let's go even rotate. Kind of like this. We'll just add this way. Okay, so just overall, you can play a little bit more with clouds, but I think this is give it interesting our idea what we can do with them. Okay, add a little bit more volume to them. Kind of like that, okay. We can also put it on the bottom. I'm still kind of looking around where, where is it better to put it, you know, like right there maybe, kind of. I think it is 60 yeah, and this is 43. That is a problem. So let's go down to about 43, 42. So they kind of match opacity. Um, you can always overlay more and more clouds. You can create other ones, but I think this is good right now. Let's go ahead next. We'll create new layer. And one, what I want to do now, work with the global lighting because we did highlights, but lights not coming from top. To do this, we'll need to create a 
dodge and burn layer and we're already familiar with this so we'll go fill up with 50 percent gray and we'll switch to soft light now we can take our brush we can go with the white 10 percent and actually what we can do right here for example it's our and we can actually 100 percent we can go from here maybe 10 percent yeah let's go with 10 percent opacity and we can start drawing like these lines you know how the light side going sun just imagine right here we have a sun and lights going from sun like this sunbeams and i'm just drawing that drawn down so what we're doing we're just drawing this highlight next we can increase and just add a little bit more lights coming from that area okay let's go switch x darker on the black and we'll just add shadowing to the edges so you can see it's creating kind of like dark elements and we want again we want to create this to focus our image on this on a model so we want to take all of this dark we'll just add a little bit in darkness so like right there this is our center of our focus okay again if you want it, you can add a little bit more okay this is look actually good but we need add glowing to this point so let's go to actually you know what before add glowing let's add hello to her and we can do hello a couple ways one of course we can just create a brush hard edge brush and we can do this way um create new layer hello and we'll just go like around your head let's go size and you can see how the size i think like this maybe hello will work good okay like control z 100 percent opacity and okay let's go brush right around there and there you go maybe click a few times so it's all fill up next we go click control command click on h so it's selected and you go to select modify contract and we'll contract by maybe 10 pixels let's see how big it is yeah i think 10 pixels good and at this moment you can just click delete there you go we have a perfect circle okay um the one thing about this it does not necessarily look like it's hello we need to go inside the double time click on to go inside layer styles in the layer styles what we want to do it's add bevel, bevel and emboss and with bevel and emboss we can create this effect of our ring so let's go ahead you can see the sizes so let's go maybe create because it's 10 we'll go actually maybe about six five seven shadows let's go see on the depth you can play around and you can see the depth probably about this way and do we want soften no i think it's harder so now it's look like it's have this effect over okay next we want to go and select okay we have it satan yeah satin let's go add this one and we'll go with the gold color so we'll go gold color on this let's reduce a little bit opacity contour just select kind of zigzag so it will create a little bit like goldish look on this case and multiply maybe i want to match i don't want white white but i don't want too dark so i think this one will work we'll click ok so now we created the ring and you can create a thicker if you need it again um, next let's go to create new mask on this we'll take our brush and if you remember very well we have it hard brush so let's go soft brush it still be 100 percent which is okay and i want to just delete a uh, mask out right here okay let's go make smaller 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 we'll just mask out and we'll just add a little bit to the hair like it's hiding okay let's zoom out there's our hello um, of course we'll take opacity don't use the fill just opacity and you can see we can actually even take 
slightly down so it will apply blend with color there you go now we have our ring that is look a little bit more than just circle okay we're done this way so let's go now Control shift alt e command option alt e this is kind of will take all image all visible layers combine them into one layer and create brand new um some it's one thing you need to remember if you change something you almost need to go back and recreate this but it is necessary because we're going to create a glow effect for this and now when we create glow we're going to filter blur and we're going to Gaussian blur and in Gaussian blur we'll probably don't want too big just a little bit maybe around and it's again that is will be total depend on what you have and this one probably will work uh, maybe you know let's go with 20 pixels okay let's go click OK on this and now on this we'll go switch to the screen mode okay let's go ahead click screen okay and on the screen mode now i want to hide again alt or option click on a mask hide it out we'll take a brush 10 percent and now we start brushing our glowing so I'll, I'll start brush glow from this area where we have um actually i want to switch be sure it's white color so and i'll start add glowing from element where it's coming so it's coming from here and i want to add this glowing to the wings okay Okay, let's go add a little bit to her hand to the sword shoulder we add around hello right here with your crown end of this wing maybe a little bit on her hair so it's almost like you're adding highlights but we are adding a little bit more glowing so her wings will want to glow and we want to be sure like lights glowing from here going you can add also a little bit on the clouds Okay, but it's add uh, this softness. This is with white wing, so black wing. If you want to use it for the darker when I create it, we can create those. But I think this is overall add uh, this kind of majestic look a little bit. Okay, we're done with this. Let's go to our last step. Before last, one more step before we do coloring. It is add grain. And add grain if you remember i says look on this we have it, our sky one grain her hand is very smooth so that does not match it will close up we want the match we need overlay with special gray so for this we'll select new layer fill up with 50 percent gray going to the filter right here uh noise add noise 15 pr pr probably work uniform monochromatic and we'll just switch this blend mode the soft light and i don't think we need this much grain but it's good to have you can see now it's all matching so then we'll go switch this to about 50 percent okay next let's add some coloring to this and we can do by selecting create selective color adjustment go to the black i don't want to necessarily crush black so i'll bring a little bit up like minus five and usually I do adjust so my darker color black is colder and my mid-tones neutral is warmer and we can do this by adjusting going yellow and red uh, maybe too much on a green let's bring green back and add a little bit more to the yellow so we have it like cold and you have it you work with this complementary and other coloring and our white color it's right here and you can see we can create a very we don't need to do this we'll just flatten a little bit and we'll go create as well a little bit warmer on that one as well so we want to do it let's go look back to our black color and again if you want it we can add even crazier color but i don't think we need that crazy but we can create cyanish look but i think just a little bit will work very well Okay, so and right here we have it, our color overlay that is help us to bind everything together. All what you're missing at this point, you just go ahead and put your name. Okay. 
and I don't recommend for you to just put your name like right here okay what usually I do I create name and I'm not necessarily using specific font I try to create font that match kind of um, our style or what we've done so for example kind of like this style will go and I'll make it smaller okay and I'll just put it somewhere in a corner and lower opacity so it, it they still be there people can pay attention but I don't like take away from the picture I don't want it to jump on top but it's up to you whatever you like to do okay so right here you can see how we was using this image we're creating from photo and um, we add those overlays so we add overlays of the link wings and overlays of the sky and some other texture in the park and you have it very big selections overall right here it's a big selection of different wings we have it a white variety of white wings we have it spotted wings and black wings and usually if you see only one way like this going sideways you always remember you can turn them you can flip them horizontally so they will be this way they can horizontal otherwise also you can always just take one wing and cut off and best part of this if you remember they're all come as a wings they come with a as transparent png and it's and they come with a very very high resolution i think like 8000 pixels or more so you can see um how high resolution details on them and like i said they're all pre-cutted so very easy to use same with the sky i hope this video is was informational for you and help you to go and create your own art thank you for watching have a fun time